Uh, guys, got our first squid fish. Have you? Yes. Yeah, you've probably got a fish too. Pull. Yep, yeah, wind it in. You got weight. Yeah, lift it up then. Oh, you got a good one, Till. Look at the teeth on that, Till. Oh, they're beautiful eating. Here we go, guys. Saw that one go down. What do you think of that sound? And we're on. Thanks for joining us. This is my daughter Matilda, if you don't know who she is already. This is our uh, old Cavalier Sammy. We're down on the Edisburg jetty going for a fish. So Tilly, what's your favourite jig? Uh, Rainbow Magic. The Rainbow Magic from Inku. So Tilly's going to try and catch a squid. Just going to put the Rainbow Magic on the half, uh, sorry, on the fast hatch clip. You know how to cast, don't you? There you go. And show everyone how you cast really well. Perfect. What do you do? Give it how many seconds? Five seconds? And then what do you do? Yeah, I reckon it's been five seconds. Yeah, wind it just a little bit. So keep going and I'll set up, I'll set up my rod, uh, the Shimano Raider with a Tommy rig. We do want to catch Tommy because again, I didn't bring any Tommy teasers down. And then wind it down as you go back down and we'll want to get I'm going to go Tommy's, yeah. So, because I want to put a Tommy teaser out there. So keep winding, keep winding until it's about there and then cast it out again. That's it. So I've got a pretty decent sort of tangle here <laughs> when I was uh, fishing at Port Giles and just sort of gave up at the end. And you tend to sort of throw your tackle in your tackle box. You pay for it as at the start of your next trip. All right, guys. So. Tilly wants to swap over to the Tommies, which I've just got ready. So we've just got a pencil float down to a very small swivel, uh, size eight owner hook, down to a couple of split shots with a swivel as well, and another size eight owner hook with gents. Now, do you want to swap? All right, I'm going to cast you out. Just not even going to cast you out, really. I'm just going to let you out over here. All right, and I reckon... Tommies. Perfect, so what do you got to do? You got to watch, no, just watch the float. That's all you have to do on this one. All right, and you can see, see that slick out there? See how it's the other water's different either side and that's all flat? That's the slick we've created from all of our burley. So you can every now and then, if you want, just open the bail arm and let a little bit of line out and that'll just keep going out further and further. What should happen is the fish should come, all the fish all the way out there should smell it and they'll start coming following that burley trail. See, that's going down already, darling. I think you might have a fish. No? You'll feel it. You know what Tommy's feel like, don't you? Yeah. So while Tilly is doing the Tommy fishing, I'm going to keep the squidding up. Daddy, you have to use rainbow magic. I'll use the rainbow magic. I'm going to try and hit that weedy patch just out there a bit further. Sometimes it takes, you know, 10, 15 minutes till for all that burly to start working properly. You can see, you can see the water's really clear, which is good for squid and the Tommies. We should start even seeing, I think we should start seeing some action fairly shortly because the, um, well, because of that burley, yeah. And often I found even, burley is actually good for the squid as well, Tilly, I found. I did a video on Stansbury, which is a couple of jetties up, I don't know, about 12 months ago, and, and all the squid I caught came out of that burley slick that I was also trying to catch Tommy's in. So it's the middle of the school holiday, so um, I was expecting this to be a lot busier. Now I'm going to change the jigs. The Rainbow Magic's had quite a few casts. I'm actually going to try something a little bit brighter today. So the Inku's come in uh, a wide variety of colours. So this is the orange glow. I don't actually use the orange and the pink glows very often, but I think, I don't know, I've got a feeling for today. They've probably seen a lot of different squid jigs over the last week with it being school holidays. So sometimes showing them something different can help. Do you like the orange glow, Tilly? Orange glow is pretty cool. Oh, I'm really surprised we haven't seen any Tommies yet, Till. But we're doing all the right things. We've got Burley out, probably still an hour away from high tide. So I wouldn't expect a lot of action for probably another half an hour. Jinx. Half, yeah, Jinx. One, two, three, four, five, you can't go. 
As you know, I carry stickers on me, uh, and if you're down at the Edithburg uh, Surf and Tackle store, I did leave some on the front counter for them. So if you want one of Matt's Fishing Escape stickers and you're down in Edithburg, go in and see the girls at uh, Edithburg Surf and Tackle. They've got a really good range of tackle, and uh, you'll also, hopefully, there'll be a sticker left uh, for Matt's Fishing Escapes. Just mention me at checkout. So I was just saying a till that I'll make a trace a bit longer, probably about one and a half, maybe two metres already. The trace tilly just, and for people, other people that don't know, the trace is the line from under the float oh, down to, down to that. So that makes sense still. So we've just made it probably another 30 centimetres longer. Oh yeah. And it's worth just checking different depths to see, you know, where the Tommies are. You can see the float out there where I casted it. Oh, uh, guys, got our first squid. So we got our first squid on the orange glow. While Sam is getting a bit angry, it's not a huge squid, but it's yeah, it's reasonable. Hmm? It's something. It is something. You can see how far out I was though. That's a good sign. Shows that they're hopefully coming on the chew. I think I've actually only got him by one candle, which is always a bit of a stress. We've only got the one candle, so we're gonna have to do a boat flip here and hold our breath. Just a little one. Sam, look, how about this? Sammy. What do you think of that? A big candle. Fish. Have you? Yes. Until he's on to something. Now just watch those bags. Walk over this side. Walk over this side. You don't want to get your line caught up in those bags like that. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you lost it. Sorry, darling. That's all right. Okay. That means they're out there. We'll go again. It means, we're out, it means they're out there. But when you hook up, you need to try and bring your line over this way so you're not near those bags, oh. all right? But that was good. You held your tip up, so you kept weight on it. And I think what happened is when you got it around the bag, it just got a little bit of slack line and that was just enough for it to flick the hooks. But that was cool, huh? Do you love that feeling? It's the thing that gets me back when I go fishing is that every time you hook up, it's just that it doesn't have to be a, a marlin or whatever. It just could be the smallest fish, but it's just, that, or the largest fish, but it's just that feeling. I love how excited you got. It's a good feeling, isn't it? This is about the third time I've tried a, a video on this jetty. The first time I was with a good friend, Emmanuel Scorpus from Flinders Run Winery and his son, and I caught a nice snook uh, and some Tommies, but it was, I didn't have the head cam, so it didn't make a video. The next time Tilly and I tried here about, I don't know, a month or so ago, when we were staying at Villa Pore Airbnb at Port don't Vincent. To go there. It's worth checking that out. Um, it's good for kids as well because there's bunk beds. And we just didn't catch anything on that trip because it was just blowing a gale from the completely other direction. It was a northerly. And actually that night, I didn't record it, but I went to the Port Vincent Wharf and I cleaned up on fish on our last night. You'd already gone to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you? good, how are you? Good, I w I've seen you. Yeah, well, <laughs> this looks familiar too. Oh yeah, it's another one. <laughs> What's yours? Matt, Matt's Fishing Matt's Escapes. Matt's Fishing, that's right. I'll get you a sticker, hang on. Um, I've just left my stuff there. Yeah, you're all good. Can you watch that for me? Yeah. I'm not this person. No, no, I know. Yeah, I know her. I own camping at Australia with this person. Oh, there you go. You can let her know you met me. All right, I will definitely tell her that when I get back there. No worries. Yeah, you've probably got a fish too. Pull. Yep, wind it in. It's a big fish for that to be there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's big. That's a big Tommy, girl. Salmon. No, it's Tommy. Tommy. Bird actual fish. Because Beautiful. Yes, that's what I've come for. So yeah, big big Tommy. Uh Hi, good size Tommy. one. So we'll give it a measure. Hey, well done too. Yeah, that's a good 23 centimeter Tommy, so that's a really good size. So we're gonna put on the uh cavi salty fishing just little minnow. I just think that I was catching those sort of size Tommies off the rocks the other week down this way, so I reckon they might take this. And I might just give Tilly something to do to keep it entertained rather than watching a float. All right, that's out there, right? And I need you to wind this in just slowly with your rod tip down. Keep the rod tip down no, and, and just wind it in slowly. Keep the constant wind. That's it, not fast, slowly, that's it. You will try and catch a Tommy on that, your snook, salmon, lots of different fish you could potentially... Snapper? No, darling, and we don't want snapper anyway because we're in a snapper band. Go on. 
Took a while. Tiny baby one. But it's a good teaser for a squid. So we're just gonna use that one as a squid teaser. You got weight? Yeah, lift it up then. Oh, you got a good one, Till. I don't know, I think you got a sneak or something. You got a sneak. Yes! So Tilly's just caught her first sneak. Now come away this way, this way. Remember, away from the bags. That's it. You all right? No. Keep lifting, keep it. Now lift up, lift up, lift up. Wind, 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 wind. So Tilly's just got a sneak. Well done, Tilly. And that's on the Salty Passion 65 from Cabby. Love these. Look at the teeth on that, too. Oh, they're beautiful eating. You knew you had one. Tell mom I got this move. Well done, Teal. Yeah. I don't want to get bit by it. All right, we're free. Now, we're just going to measure this one. Should be 45 centimetres to be legal. I think he's definitely there. Yeah, he's... Uh, well done, too. He's a 50 centimetre snook. Yeah. Right. Do you want to go again? Yeah. I'm going to go for another snook. So, snoop. Till, what, how did you catch the snook? What were you doing? Stop. Rod tip down, and you're just winding in really slowly, weren't you? And then you'll feel it hit it. See how long that lasts with the shags around. Right, well done, Tilly. Great catch. That's pretty cool. 50 centimeter sneak. That's the same size as the one I caught off of here when I was with Emmanuel and his son, Michael. So it looks like the Tommies are coming to play, which is good. Oh, they might actually be garfish. Long fish. Look at that. I think we've got a fish. Got one. Is that a seal? Teal, it's a dog. Got a fish. Uh, it's a fat one. It must be a lot of fish. Another nice size one. Thank you, all on. Really nice. Let's catch another one. So we're not fishing too far out now from this burly cage. Doing a good job. It just has to be another one out there sitting there waiting for your thing to come past. And we're on to. So Tommy. So it's really interesting. They both seem to be, they all seem to be taking it on the top hook. So I might actually reduce the uh, length of the leader so that hopefully both hooks are in play but yeah another nice another nice size Tommy the wind is picking up a little bit but it's not too bad yeah I think the uh, Tommy's are sitting a bit further out to be honest so I can see splashes out the back of my float about there so yeah I'm right in the mix with them out there and I'm pretty sure I've got one it's a fair way out now, down that burly trail. And I don't know, I might be over your line too. That's all right. Just don't want him on the burly bag, so I'm just going to take him over here. And that's the battery on the head cam. It's probably good timing. He... Uh, Took that right down. Good, uh, good little specimen. They seem to be, yeah, right out the back there. I don't know where Tilly's exactly went. Hopefully we're not over each other or under each other. See some splashing around just in front of me. So just bring it forward a touch, getting some bites. I can feel that. I think we're on. No. Garfish. Oh no. Yeah, gar. Good size gar. Bloody huge. Hold well on. Uh, maybe that's what we're seeing flashing out there on the surface is gar, not Tommy's. And we've got a fish. It's a Tommy. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's all right. I think 
Okay, I've got your line, Tilly, so I don't want you to freak out. It's my fish. All right, there you go. Can you wind it in, but don't wind, like hold the line when you wind it in so it stays tight. Another good specimen. I think we're up to about five now. And we'll get back out there because those baits look pretty good. Let's see if we can pull in a few more tummies. We're getting a couple of bites here. Sometimes you just want to keep the bait moving as well in the water. Just every now and then, just flick it up with the tommies, keeps them interested. I think we've actually got one on here. No, we just let a whole heap more burly out to keep them interested for a while. Oh, it's not big, but it's a fish. Well, it's getting bigger. Is that a bull? Sammy, look. Oh. Wonder if Sam would uh, play with one of those fish toys. What is it, Sam? What is it? You're like, it's a stupid fish, Dad. What is it? That's a silly fish, isn't it? That's a silly fish. Oh yeah, well that was a bit of fun. Catching that little Tommy. See if we can replicate it. Tilly's texting mum to tell her that she caught a 50 centimetre snook all by herself, which was great. Funny not to have the squid teaser go off, but I think we're on again. So your challenge might be, oh, they may, they're not really pulling it all the way down. They're going across to the side. I've actually been feeling it through the braid before feeling it or seeing the float go down. Here we go, guys. Saw that one go down. Yeah, not, it's not massive, but, and again, top hook. Oh, he dropped off. The fresh bait should do the trick. Surprised the squid teaser hasn't gone off. Nice fresh Tommy on it. Got him. Oh, he's swimming in with me. <laughs> it's like, got him? No, yeah, I do. It might be a tiny one. Yeah, tiny, baby. He can go back. The squid teaser hasn't even been touched, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Might try and put him out on this side again. And while we're doing the burly bag, we've hooked onto a garfish. What do you think of that, Sam? Now, they need to be, what, 24? It's uh, 27 from the top bill. All right, let's... Uh, again. We're right in the slick, which is where we want to be. Oh, another big gar. Didn't even realise he was on. He'll be absolutely fine. Oh, we missed him. It's the problem with the, letting the rod just sit there, you sometimes miss the bite. Oh, or not. I actually think it's still on. Another nice Tommy. Not one of the biggest ones today, but good enough. Sam's not fussed about them at all, Tilly. There you go. Nice Tommy. And we're on. Definitely a Tommy with that jump. Doesn't feel very big. Just another baby. Put him back out. got another baby. Normally the big ones are out the back. Seems like today the small ones are out the back. Tilly's back out on the hard body trying to catch another snook. 
or sea pike or whatever you're called in your region. Here in South Australia, they're called snook. You can look up Primary Industry Region South Australia website, link in the description below. It's all right, every, everyone tried to correct me on my short ages ago saying that it wasn't a snook, it was a sea pike, it was this, it was that. And in South Australia, it's called a snook. It's starting to get a bit windier now, so um, the sun's gone behind the clouds, so yeah, it's just going to be interesting. I can't see that flow, but I could be blind. Got a fish. It's a Tommy. Hey, Till. Tommy. Nice, Tommy. What do you think, Sammy? Is that fish beating you up? Is that fish beating you up? Nice to meet you, Annie. Person? Yeah, catch you around, no doubt. We got Till on the barely bucket. Hope you're doing the barely bucket, and I hopefully, hopefully we can catch some more Tommies just before we leave. I'm not going to catch Snook on this. If you want to try and catch more Snook, you let me know. Yeah, probably not. Well, it's a good time for it if you wanted to try. I'm getting some bites, but I'm not able to hook up for some reason. Hey, another Tommy. Hopefully, so I've just uh, actually lengthened the trace. Oh, Sammy, you got a fish. Not interested, mate. It's all right. We'll put him in the bag. Sorry guys, there you go. All right, Jill, let's pack up. Oh, I've got a fish. I'm like, let's pack up and I catch a fish. Do you want me to try one more? Yeah. Try one more? Yeah. Well guys, if I was here by myself, I'd probably stay a little bit longer, but given it's two and a half hours home, um, Tilly hasn't eaten any dinner yet, so we better do that and watch this video next.